Hello, everybody. Hello. We are live. There we go. And there goes the YouTube side. Yep, I got it. Caught it. I caught it this time. Let me make sure I am on you. There you go. Are you on you? I'm on me. Okay. Board out of my way. Hello, Miss Carol, Kat, Karen, Kim, Young Sue. I Kim, I have to call you Young Sue. I just like your name. Hi, Artsy, Aritzy, sorry. Um, Mama D, Vanessa, Tammy, Miss Sandra, Lourdes, Lois, Tammy. Wow, you guys are early birds. Kathy. Vanessa. Mm -hmm, got her. Welcome, ladies. All right. So how are you guys tonight? We're still waiting on... Um, hi, Terry. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Deanne. Deanna. So um, we're still waiting um, on Miss... Um, Miss Jenny, she had to take her daughter. She had a, her daughter got a job, so you know she's excited. So she had to get do some stuff with her daughter for her job. Um, so tonight we're working on the Victorian fan. I wasn't sure if I was going to do um, five or if I was going to do. Um, Six. I think I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll decide later. But basically, it's the same concept, ladies. We trace around the fabric of choice. <clears throat> Hi, Miss uh, Nancy. Hi, Penny. Denise. Hi. Haven't seen you in a while, Miss Denise. Christy Love. Maybe if you make it pink. What are you making pink? Hi, Miss Kateri. I got your message. I got your message. Boho flag? Ooh, who's making a boho flag? <laughs> They're all engaged into this conversation and we're just jumping in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> Has something to do with Christy Love. I think um, um, Young Sue said, tell her to um, don't forget her flag. Okay. All right. I chose this beautiful linen fabric that I purchased from um, Joann's. And it's very beautiful. And to me, it had my one of my favorite things that I love most, which are butterflies. So um, we went with the butterfly theme. And it really doesn't matter. Like, I'm going to have the butterflies in the back. And I meant to tell you guys, the guy that I get a lot of my stuff from, which is another company that I'm going to be designing for, it is Amore. And Amore has beautiful laces and beautiful things. And this is a piece of the fabric that I'm going to be working on. But they also carry the beautiful um, applique that I told you guys. I just got to get all those links for you guys and the product codes and all that because that's just something that I've been working on and it's something new, okay? But I will get all that for you guys. Um, and they have beautiful, like this beaded applique. You can get that stuff. You know, it's really beautiful stuff. Quality. He has quality stuff. Hello, um, Candy. May Candy saying hi to us again. Hi, Miss Candy. Miss Candy joins us. And so does Miss uh, Kathy Haran in iPad and Kindle Land. So... Hi, Cassie. Hi, Miss Sandra. Hi, Miss Martina. It's so great that we had coffee this afternoon together, and then we are joining again together here. So, um, 
please remind me, ladies, because I know I'm quite the um, busy little bee, um, to post those links for you guys in the group so that you guys can go over there and check out those um, that, uh, that applique that had the crown and that one that I just showed you and this fabric that I'm going to use today. It is beautiful. I'll cut around. I didn't cut because I was fussy cutting it, but we're going to work on this one. But it is very, very beautiful. It is. It Ooh. sparkles. Yeah. Has little sequins in there that looks like rhinestones. Hi, Miss Liz. Okay. So um, we're going to... Do what we always do. Pretend we um, trace this all around. It's the same thing, just another another um, project that we're going to work on. So what you guys do this afternoon? What did you do, Miss Karen? Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Karen got tired of thinking about May's pie that she wouldn't share, so Karen baked a devil food cake. <laughs> oh, see how she is? Oh, I got a beautiful order in today. Ooh. Got a little, got an order today that came in. So I'm going to do um, a quick little video after I get off here in my channel to show you guys what I had come in. Hi, May. Or hi, May. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> hi, May. Yes, hi, May. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Vivian. Hello, Vivian. Karen is confused tonight. I think that daiquiri that um, um, the daiquiri that Jay, uh, Jenny's having tonight is affecting her. Karen got in the daiquiri sauce. He did? Or did you did? Which Karen? You have Karen S and Karen no, I, meant, I meant me. <laughs> Guys, and if you haven't purchased the um, We Are Memory um, huge crocodile, you guys got to get one of these babies. These things are awesome. I have the regular size one. I don't have the big one. You don't? Yeah. No. I like the I, I, don't, I like the one that sits on my desk because of my hands. So I like it. At the time I bought mine, I didn't you know realize that I might need a longer one. And that, that yes. one, go ahead. I gotta echo. Hold on. Let me fix my stuff. Fix your stuff. Stuff. There we go. You have you have a babysitter, so you can watch the girls play. All right, Miss Tammy. All right. Tammy, cake is on the counter and coffee is in the pot. All I can tell you is make yourself at home. Yeah, she's not inviting me to any of that cake, ladies. You Hi, know Ms. you're invited. Hi, Miss Ruth. Hello, Ruth. After oh. I uh, left you guys, I had to run some errands and I had to... Um, Finished getting some stuff that I needed for um, my upcoming trip. And um, I had to get printer thingy and get my printer figured out to see what's going on with it. Because I didn't want to print. Did you get it fixed? I think he has to clean the, what do you call that? The if it doesn't, yeah. Hey, Jenny. Hey, love, I'm here. Hello, Miss Jenny's here, ladies. So, if anything, he might have to go in um, tomorrow. Just if the heads don't clean up. Right. We're going to have to go in and get a, a new printer. Ooh, chocolate chip cookies this afternoon. Miss Carol, did you invite me over? That's good. I like, I like cookies with um, language of Abraham and Isaac. I know 
know your TV, hon. Okay, going down with it, but one, one, one mark at a time. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Michelle probably thinks I have some serious brave moments because, you know, I've talked to Michelle <laughs> quite a bit. And um, I didn't know that she was Rika. Oh, yeah. And then she, I didn't know she was Rika. I know that today she mentioned something about be, her name being Lugas or something like that. And I thought, huh? I didn't know that she was Rika. All right. Sorry about that. I'm getting everybody ready here. <laughs> and, then, and then she went and um, said she was uh, Michelle. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, serious scary moment. <laughs> All right. So the first, the, 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 what I would recommend when putting this one mesh on is just glue it in carefully. And um, don't put too, don't put any glue on the inside because you don't want to do that because that'll see through. Just be, be very gentle with your um, glue, and then trim around. It's the easiest way. And then put your gimp. Okay. I hold my scissors funny, I, and now I know why my daughter holds her scissors funny. <laughs> Teachers were always say, "Why does she hold her scissors?" Uh, she scares me how she holds her scissors. I never realized until I start to recently. I just thought, oh, she she does her she holds her scissors just fine. <laughs> then I saw myself holding the scissors one day, and I'm like, oh, she got it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to hold your scissors, but I guess the teacher would be finicky. All right, so it's easier if you just put it down and then chop, chop. So for this, um, of course, if you wanted a supply list, this is the Victorian fan. And it's a chipboard from um, Wanna Scrap. I use a quarter inch um, it's about a quarter inch, quarter inch, yeah, to go around the edge. You can use just about anything you want, though. And I leave a little bit hanging out from the edge because then you can go back and um, kind of sandwich that in a little if you don't want to get into the edges. Or you could take a little bit of paint and just go around there or just leave it like that. Don't sweat the big things. Here's a beautiful bridal applique. And you can find this one at um, Creating with Details. And we're going to use just the arch part here for the top of this. So that is one thing that we're going to be using. And then we're going to use, um, for those of you guys that jumped on this, um, I have to look at the bundles because I think we're almost gone. But I do have a couple left here anyway. But they're not the big, big bundle. Um, and then we're going to take just a bit of this, and this trim is beautiful enough that we can cut that piece there and apply it right there, coming down. And then they will all join together. They will all join together. And once we join it together, we'll put a beautiful flower at the end. Okay? Yes. All right. So let's get started. So that's basically all that we're working with um, today. It's not... Not really complex. They're, oh, 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 wait, wait. So let's go back. So this is what I'm figuring. There's that. There's that, right? And then those that ordered that one kit, they, um, the, the fancy one, they got this here. So this might go here as a little bling, uh, bling castle. We'll figure it all out once we get it all going, okay? I knew there was something else that I was leaving out. I am those. Hello, Roberta. Hello, Flip Flops. Hello, um, Trudy. Hello, Miss Carolyn. And I think I got everybody. You did. Miss Carolyn is Miss Flip Flop. Okay. Okay. Now, what I recommend is here I went all the way down. 
But in our reality, once we start piling these up together and joining them, um, we want to really make sure that um, your opening here starts at the bottom so that you don't see this funky, fussy cut. Because once we put the flower, so you, in other words, you don't want to start anywhere on top of the body. You want to start at the bottom so that it covers it up with all the, the laces and stuff like that, okay? So let's start at the bottom. You want to make sure you don't cover that, that little hole, because we need that hole available and accessible to us. So make sure you punch out your hole before you start your gimp. And you can put some Victorian pictures, some little images if you want, here in the center. Um, I chose not. Now, I did get the, um, another suitcase in. Um, and if you guys are interested in seeing that in fabric, I will get that done in fabric for you ladies. Um, and we'll just make it another class so you guys can see an other, an other see? My Excuse me. Catch that? <laughs> Hi, Miss Carol Church. How are you, hon? Um, B and Diane just came in too, May. Hi, Miss Diane and Miss B. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing the suitcase, the suitcase is available for sale. Um, we'll do it in fabric. So we'll just go around here and then don't forget Monday um, at 11 o'clock in the morning if all goes well here at the house and nothing craziness goes on I will be on live with the rubber buggy and we'll do a fabulous project for the rubber buggy when you going Monday around 11 hon okay I think that's a good time. You know, people are eager and you got, I know you're probably going to be at church, aren't you? No, on Monday, I'll be at the doctor's office. Oh, you're getting your jobs? Huh? I said, I will be here. <laughs> yeah, I'll get my results Monday. It'll be a day of news. Hopefully. Yes. It'll be good. Mary Jo here. Is Mary Jo in the house? Yes, she is. Hey, Mary Jo. Hello, Miss Mary Jo. Hello, Mary Jo. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. What's she saying? She said, Karen, they will be awesome. Hello, Mary Jo is joining us. Jenny England's in the house too. Look at her sending all those hearts. <laughs> hey, I wonder who that lady is. Who I do don't think know. I heard we I think, have an eye on her. I do too. I think I heard she was a stalker. I heard she had one too many daiquiris. You know I did, girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're going to go ahead and do the edging and then we'll come back. And we shall come back. And decorate. Although I like the decorating fun part. This here is the tedious part that I wish a machine would do for me. That's all the fun. You like this part? I don't know. I like the decorating part. Yeah, I like that part. I like putting stuff together. Yeah, me too. I do too. The 
don't stare at me. I'm not getting up. <laughs> I tell you, her dog is like a man. He's got her. He's got her really trained. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Hush. <laughs> He's so funny. Can you hear him? Yes, I can. He is so funny. <laughs> It's hilarious how he has you all whooped. <laughs> <laughs> He's old. He can't help it. Yeah. While that's drying, let's cut a piece of this. No. Okay. Hold on, guys. Somebody wants to know um, where you got the gimp trim from, May. Uh, the gimp trim is from Wanna Scrap. Sorry. Want to scrap. Um, Karen Thompson, May, will you ever do the Wanna Scrap yeah. flapper purse? Yes, we are. We were supposed to be doing that today as a... No, was it today? I don't know. We we are gonna do the um the Victorian purse, you mean? We will do that. Um so what we can do that is plan on that next week. Um and not to do the suitcase and fabric. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Mary yes. Jo's gonna be buying paper. She's gonna buy what paper? What kind of paper? I don't know. I just saw now I need to buy some more paper. Uh oh. Oh, she got the she got her onesie and baby uh, and boys outfit chipboard albums today. Today. Ooh. You know what? I saw a really cute Authentique has a really cute baby baby line. In graphic 45. There are the two. Hi, Miss Carla. Hello, Susan. Susan's in the house too, May. Hi, Miss Susan. Hey everybody. <laughs> Everybody going too quick for me to catch all the names all at once. She needs to catch up, doesn't she, ladies? Excuses. Excuses, Kitty. Uh, uh, I'm full of them today. <laughs> oh, Lynn's here, too. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Donna. I know it's so late for Miss Lynn. It's so, so late. I do appreciate her staying up late. Oh, and Vic's going to be on tomorrow night. So we're going to go really lightly and just tap, 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 so that we don't have all that goo gook, 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 whatever. I don't know. I don't know. My, my tongue gets tied. And that glue stuff, that glue mess seeping through. That's why I can't be a professional crafter um, because I my Spanglish is like... Normally, we on my English, and so I tend to sometimes stutter a little when I want to say something, and it just kind of doesn't come out right. So we're just going to go around, pulling that. It's a mesh, so we got to pull it lightly. Said May, where did you get that fabric at? This fabric is from Amore. I will get you guys all the information on them. I will. I will put all the codes. I have to get the codes. Hello, Q QC. Hello, Miss QC. Yes, they have the fans. Let me post again, um, Crafty Hands. Let me get you the um, link. Miss Crafty Hands is Carla. Oh, Carla, I do have, I need your PayPal, hand because I do have, I think you did. Um, I did make a little small bundle for you, hon. I have that. I haven't invoiced everyone because I got back-to-back um, -back bombarded. 
Hello, Jody. Hello, Miss Jody. Oh, May Lynn said would have been here sooner, but was making oh it went by. <laughs> was making flowers from my altered crochet spool and she's dying texture. She's no dying texture. No. Oh, um, it's DIY texturing anything in sight. <laughs> oh, you know why? Because she made textured um, molding paste. Oh, that's uh, right. Or, yeah. Modeling paste. I say molding, but she's, it's called modeling. The reason I say molding is because you can literally, literally mold something. Right, right. That's, that's how I molded one of my um, Victorian. Did you guys ever see my Victorian shoe? Yes. I'm not sure. I seen uh, you did a real shoe. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, the the real shoe. Yeah. Um, Ms. Kirk, you said she did send you your her pipe pal to you. Yes. And okay. Okay. I will work on um the the PayPal probably tomorrow morning when I start shipping the ones that um I did ship. The ones that paid today. Yay, cause I was on it. <laughs> yeah, she was on it, so she wants her laces. In other words. <laughs> uh, no, it just means I was a good girl and didn't forget it. <laughs> she's easy, she's eager to get her laces. That's why she wants her girls to be dressed and pretty. <laughs> yes, I'm ready for my Christmas pre or Mother's Day present. Excuse me. Your Mother's Day present. I got my Mother's Day present. My Mother's Day present was fabulous. Yes, it I, was from what we seen on that video. <laughs> I took, um, I no, I took a course. I paid for a course. It's called Wonderless 2017, and it's full of all kinds of techniques and art. Real professional artists. I mean, you get to learn from Finnevar. I took one of her classes too. Um, herself, and she teaches for thirty dollars. She has her art transformation course. Um, the winter, the wonder, wonderlust is like um, comes out to like one hundred thirty some dollars with the UK money exchange. I think. Right. Um, so. Um, that was my Mother's Day gift from my husband to me. That was great. Yeah. So I actually sat down and just watched some of it um, today, just a little. After I got in, I was like, I was tired. I was beat. So I said, I'm going to see a little bit of it. And then I kind of dozed off. I was teasing Karen, and I dozed off myself like an old lady. <laughs> I did in the car waiting on Brittany to get through with her stuff. <laughs> when did she start? She um getting her paperwork because she's got to go tomorrow for the videos. But her real true day is uh, Tuesday. Oh. They got to order some, some shirts and small enough for to fit her. <laughs> oh. Well, that's, that's always a wonderful experience for kids. To get their job, I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside and let's work on here. I I, I need to get away from the gimp. <laughs> I should have done the gimp. Ow, that hurt, ladies. Don't do that. That glue right on my knuckles, or almost. Not my knuckle, but my ring. Okay. So this is the one I'm gonna go with, and we're gonna just kind of arch that. Can you tell I was anxious to do this part? <laughs> right. I like the decorating part. That's the part I like the most. We're just going to trim. So we trimmed it like that. Okay. And that would go on the top there. Perfect for there, and then we're going to go refuel. May? 
Vivian says, love your voice, May. When I first clicked on the link, your voice was so inviting. It has a sweet spirit about it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Sometimes I think I'm boring. When I'm doing my tutorials and I'm um, recording, I'm like, I sound boring. <laughs> You do not. Where do you get that from? I do. I, li I listened to one of my videos the other day. As oh. I, it was playing. I listened to it and I said, God, why do I sound so boring? No, you can't listen to yourself. No, don't do that. I, go. I never listen to myself. I don't know what people get, but oh, well, that's what they got. <laughs> <laughs> On in a little, I'm gonna hold on. We're gonna go in a little, and I might regret it, but let's see. I want it a little bit deeper. I need deeper. Hopefully, I have enough to go all the way around. I wanted to go out all the way to the edge because, see, I didn't do that on this one. So let's cut, let's glue and then figure it out on the. I agree, Mary Jo. Mary, Mary Jo says it's not so much about the talking, but about the creating. Yes, it is. Right. It really is. So we're going to glue on the outside of this here and then cut it. That way we have, see now it looks prettier, I think. I like that. Looks prettier than me. There. Yeah, that's better. Mary Jo says, gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, I Su like that better. Susan says it's really, really very pretty, too. Yeah, that looks pretty light. I like it like that better. I'm going to keep this rolling, rolling thing on my desk. Let's keep it right over here. Next thing we're going to do, I know. Laugh at me, Karen. Go ahead. Laugh at me. Oh. I'm going to grab this. And for those of you guys that got this, you'll get a yard of this because it's really pretty. Hi, Miss Yvonne. Miss Jackie. How are you, Miss Jackie? I just got a notification that um, one of Scrap is live, May. <laughs> they are? Yeah, you think we should go watch them? I think it's an intruder. <laughs> it's an impersonator. <laughs> Jackie says, hi, Miss May. Hi, hon. Um, so yes, Vic will be on tomorrow night with a mixed media project. So you guys got some really busy week this week making craft projects left and right right so we're thinking about that and then we have well hold on ladies or thinking. Think it. Think it. Yeah, Martina, mine did too, hon. All of a sudden it was lit up and said, one of scrap is live. 
Hey, that's, yeah. what we're that's gorgeous. Let me yeah. look. Let me look. Ooh. Did you see it? Yes. I know there's a lag. So it's going to go fit the two little bunny ears from the two little bunny ears from that flower. It's going to scoot right in if you happen to get this tram uh, from uh, Creative Details. Um, they're going to go in between that petal and then this is going to swag down like that. Okay. And you can sort of kind of move that into place. And then this one is going to go up here like so. Hello, Debbie. She said they've had so much rain, it's interfering with the internet, very high winds. We've had so much rain that my dogs are walking around with their legs crossed. <laughs> Is that because they can't go potty? Yeah, they won't get off the carport. <laughs> My chihuahua won't neither. <laughs> He'll stand there and look at you and turn around and come back in like, uh oh, I don't think so. Yeah, if I, I had a chihuahua, you know, I could put him across the yard. <laughs> These dogs are too big. Right. I keep trying to convince mine to just go right there under the porch. You know, you ain't really got to aim for anything, just hike it and go. No, right. it doesn't convince well. I have to literally shut the door and make him stand out there and like, you ain't come back in, you go. <laughs> okay. So that's what we're thinking there. That's pretty. Let me see, let me see. You get a Victorian lady, an image also put one around here as well um if you have some little more dangles you can probably maybe um let me see we'll work on something here that would also look really pretty on your fan or not your fan your mirror mm -hmm. your handheld mirror oh yeah yeah, it would. yeah. hey you are not on the panel settle yourself down <laughs> Let him have his time. He wants to be on the panel. Come on, Karen. Don't be him. I will be right back, guys. He wants to be on the panel. Put him on the panel. Let's give him a spotlight. Yeah, make him famous. <laughs> famous. We all want to be famous, don't we? Well, that depends on what it's for. <laughs> I'm still waiting on my snapped episode. <laughs> I can imagine you on snap. Right. I can literally imagine you on snap. This week it would be because of crazy drivers that don't know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Why did so you we can do that on the back. That's pretty. Let's see. Do one on the center right there. You can dangle it more. Um, Chrissy said, will that make the bottom too thick later when they're all connected together? Uh, no, because I'm not, the hole, the hole is down here. And I shouldn't. Oh, okay. Okay. I shouldn't intercept too much. It shouldn't, but then again, who am I? I'm not an engineer. I'm just a crafter. Well, so we're gonna just roll with it and <laughs> make it work. <laughs> yeah, we'll roll with it. We'll, we'll, 
we'll make it work. Somehow or another, we always make it work. Okay. So that's that one for now. Next, back to this one. <laughs> May. Yep. Roberta says she has a vintage a vintage fan collection, but this one you're dressing is simply gorgeous. Oh, thank you. And Tammy, oh my goodness, my sitter just offered for overnight since I have hers in the morning. Woohoo, ladies, how late is this party going? <laughs> <laughs> How late is the party going? Hmm. How late do you guys, what's your curfew? Oh, girl, I don't have one. <laughs> you don't have a curfew? Nope. Excuse my me. curfew is until I pass out in my recliner. This one's a little bit, the color is slightly different from this one, isn't it? It is. Yeah. But you really can't tell once it's all put together. So we're going to do one of each. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Easier view. Just go around that again edge. Um, Jackie, I believe that's something you need to ask me in private. What's that, hon? Hmm. What's I'll that? You, um, the question that she's been asking for several times. Oh, Miss um, Jackie, I'm sorry. I had my head down. Oh, I think it's time for a cup of coffee. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Do you want a cup of coffee and a a piece of cake, hon? I would love one, please. Thank you. Oh, God. I'm on the sweet tea from McDonald's. <laughs> no, no, no sippy cup today? No. That was earlier. Ain't nobody here to go get it for me this time. I didn't have to go out in the pouring rain. <laughs> I want some rain because that means my flowers get water. Oh, you can have all of ours. We've had it for like four days straight. I need some my water. Yard. My yard looks like a duck pond. I need some water. We've been trying to have a yard sale for two weeks, and each Saturday it's been pouring down rain, and I'm like, nope, it's not going to be this weekend. <laughs> Miss, um, Miss Vivian said she doesn't work tomorrow, so she's going to hang with us until the cows come home. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did you have your, your daiquiri? No, they were out of them. Oh, boy. So that's why she's too quiet. I've got my sweet tea going on. Give me time for the sugar to kick in. <laughs> we'll run on sugar rush. It'll do just fine. <laughs> and silly cat is popping a box. Mm. Silly cat what? It's popping a box. Clawing. Oh. I got a couple boxes from Amazon today and uh -oh. put them in the floor. And you want to find a cat? Put a box in the floor. He'll be right there. Would you, um, well, that must be your cat because my cat is lazy. Yeah, it, it is. I've got two that'll fight over the box. <laughs> well, then again, my cat's not, she doesn't come up. So she knows not to come up here. Right. I keep my door shut to my craft room to keep them out. And she thinks it's her special room. So she tries her best to run in there 
every time the door opens. <laughs> like, you know better. You ain't know. It's like putting things together, building up, building up, building up. All right. Going one layer at a time. Mm -hmm. That's the best part of crafting. Right. That and making a mess. <laughs> yeah. I think more of a massive. I I I, I came up stairs after. Um, I think I came upstairs around five. And I saw the mess I had on my tent. Um. And um. I saw the mess I had. I was like. Oh, I need to go back downstairs and pretend I didn't see that mess. <laughs> if I don't see it, it ain't there. <laughs> yes. See no evil here, no evil. Right. All right, my best John Cena voice. You can't see me. Be the wrestling part of me. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'm back with coffee and cake for everyone. Help yourself. Mm, yum. Thank you. <laughs> that quality of air is really good. Right. It tastes like angel food. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the icing. No, I like, um, that's my favorite icing. What? Cheese frosting. Cheap, cream cheese? Yeah, that's mine too. My Except kid's I weird. She don't like any kind of icing on a cake. She'll pull it off. Really? Yes. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Are you sure you came out of me? <laughs> no, I, I agree with that. Right? That's the best part. The cake is just extra. <laughs> Hi, Louisa. Mary Jo says she loves the iced tea from Dunkin' Donuts. I like Dunkin' Donuts, period. I love, I love everything about it. Their hibiscus tea is my favorite. Mm. Yeah, kind of what? And I might just go back in here and maybe put a smaller um, trim just down in there. I like that. That is so pretty. Thank you, hon. Miss Jackie says she wants cake. <laughs> Honey, you come on. I will share. I will share. I made a. I made a, um one of them. What is that? Thirteen by nine pan. Oh, that's the good size cakes. <laughs> <laughs> we made a cake the other day. Uh, me and Brianna. We put the um, banana in it. Oh my god, that thing was so moist. I was thinking about that today. I thought that would taste really good in this chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, don't see. It's really, oh, it's really easy to make these little fans. You can make a couple of these. Like I said, pop a little image on there. Put a little bit of a chipboard word, a swirl, whatever you want. To make a beautiful little fan for those of you who craft to resell is a perfect little quick project i think it is quick right yeah this one's moving right along mm -hmm. the 
think I'm going to put the Victorian purse. I think I'll go get some dangle beads. That needs some dangle beads for sure. Miss Carol said the fan is beautiful, May. Thank you, Miss Carol. Autumn loves it too. Hi, Miss Autumn. Miss Jackie's too quiet today. I think we I think we laughed too much today. My ribs were hurting. <laughs> oh. I know, right? My jaws were, know. My jaws were hurting. Mm -hmm. My brains were hurting. <laughs> Uh, Night Angel said, okay, these live shows need to come with a warning. Danger, you will gain weight if you watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are too funny. Uh -huh. It is easy, Miss Lynn. It's very easy. You know, when you have a rainy day or something like right now with Miss um, Jenny having rain, um, you can just pop out the stuff and start crafting. Right. It is easy. Sometimes if you're if you have your mojo, because when I lost my mojo a couple weeks ago, I was like, I don't even know what to make. Oh, I hate it. Yes, I had no desires. Like, I don't know what to make. I just don't know. Don't know. I've made everything in God's creation. I just don't know. Yes, Diana, I can see you, hon. Miss D-Barb, how are you? Guys, um, just, just so you guys know, Miss D-Barb, I don't know if she's still having her sale, but I know she mentioned she was having her laces on sale. Um. So, guys, check her out on the Crash Star. She also has appliques that are beautiful. Yes, indeed. They are gorgeous. I Hello, them for Christmas. Or Lou. Lou. Hi, Miss Lou. Lou, did you find a building for your, um, for Fernley's? Don't ask. Divar says don't ask. Stress. So she's got tons of laces for sale, ladies. <laughs> As we were talking the other day, she's a lace hoarder. And she's going to be joining the um, CA Crafters Anonymous. Oh, I was going to say, what is that? Yeah, we might need to look into that. <laughs> No, no, don't go there. It's a trick. I'm telling you, it's a tricky. Come into the light where there is coffee and cake. <laughs> Come into the light. That's just, that's just a trap. <laughs> I miss Amanda. <laughs> Stay away from the light. <laughs> right. Oh, Lou said, nope, we had an offer to buy us out, but it isn't what we really want to do. Oh, no. Oh. That's not good. No, we don't want you to sell. We want you to move to the U.S. <laughs> yeah. Jody, I imagine that. I'm sorry. I said I imagine that has to be like so hard. Mm-hmm. Jody said that she just bought 10 more yards of eyelet on Etsy for $4. Ooh. That's a good price, isn't it? 
How wide of an uh, um, islet, Trin? She didn't say. Oh, I thought Ten she was talking about. Ten yards is like 44 cents or 49 cents. Four, four oh. cents, right? 40, 40 cents. You see, I was thinking material. That's because you bought some islet fabric the other day. Yeah. Yeah. No, she did good because it's like 40 cents a yard. For islet, that's not bad. Islet tends to be a little bit pricey too. One and a half inch. Yeah. Okay. May Artsy wants to know why you didn't paint the edges white. Um, you can. Um, I just didn't choose to. <laughs> I guess that's why. I don't know. <laughs> and that's what I was explaining. You can go in and you can um, sandwich it in. I normally leave like a little bit of a hang right there. And then I can go in with the glue, put a dab, and squeeze those together. And then they'll close them up together. Yeah, you can make the pancakes. Yes, my mommy made me pancakes. <laughs> Karen, will you eat that whole cake? No, hon. Um, Sunday is um, brother, brother, brothership breakfast. I can't even think right now. And I will take the rest of it there for Sunday um, when we have breakfast. To church, if that made any sense. <laughs> Right. Did that make sense, guys? <laughs> it did indeed. Miss Jenny's watching TV. No, I'm reading the chat. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm catching up. What I missed. Hi, Bill. How are you? Welcome to the channel. I was talking to Michelle from Want to Scrap, and she was telling me that um, she was at a crop She's in Orlando right now. And she was at a crop, and I said, oh, what are you teaching? <laughs> she laughed at me. <laughs> she says, I wish. She says, I'm, I'm selling. <laughs> I thought she was actually teaching something. I was like, oh, what are you teaching, Michelle? Because she is a crafter. That's how she started her little business. She's probably over there laughing at me, too. Let's get down to business. Hello. I just spelled... I don't. I just spelled hello H E L L Y. <laughs> hello. <you know. laughs> I really need this cup of coffee. Obviously. <laughs> Maybe the well, cup of caffeine. <laughs> I, I think she needs to lay off the um, cake. <laughs> hey, hey. She needs to lay off the cake and send it to me. Right. I, I mean. First you're talking CA and now you're cutting out the cake. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of conspiracy is this? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. go strike. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Debbie. <coughs> the applications are beautiful. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Yeah, I think I think that she needs to lay off the cake. It's it's an endangering her mental um, capacity, and um, I think you need to send it to me and let me test it. I'll do I'll do a product testing for you. Okay. And I'll do a product review and promote it for you. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who she thinks she's fooling. <laughs> Karen Thompson, ain't you ever had cake for breakfast, girl? <laughs> oh, I have cake for breakfast all the time. For, when I cake the house, yes. If I have cake in a house, that's going to be breakfast for sure. That is breakfast for sure. <laughs> right, with a big old cup of coffee, sit down, and everybody leave me alone. <laughs> yes, 
I'm going to indulge the moment of the calories and I'm going to say sharing is caring. So I'll give the calories to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She keeps all the good taste and gives us the rest. Uh huh. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to share, I'm going to share the bad part of it too with you guys and I'm going to indulge the goodness. <laughs> I'm trying to find somebody to give my cold to. You did? I don't want that. I don't want that. You stay away from me. You just sit down and hold your breath. <laughs> you I saw yourself. <laughs> don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. Keep it over there. Oh, I got in a sneezing fit a while ago. Keep it was about 10 of them right there back to back. I thought, whoa, my head's going to explode. And confetti's going to come out, y'all. Mm. She needs to stay over there. <laughs> Warning, don't feed the Jenny. She might sneeze on you. Right. Now, as my daughter had got, we went to Bath and Body Works. Oh, and, I love that. Oh, me too. I ain't coming out of there without something. I don't care what it is. And she sprayed the one of the colognes and put it on. And it was like, I guess, tickled my fancy the wrong way. Uh -huh. And stays back to back about 10 times right there in a row. I'm like, girl, do that outside. <laughs> my, my daughter's like the Bath and Body Works, too. I'm not much into, like, it ha the smell has to be right for me to wear to wear perfumes and stuff. Right. It'll get to my nose. It takes my breath where I got asthma and COPD stuff. The right ones, it can trigger attack real quick. Yep. So I make them go outside to put it on. Hi, Miss Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hi, love. Let's get down to business, to defeat. Can you see how my, see my daughter watches too much cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> She watches way too much cartoons, girls. Sing it, May. Sing it. I miss the good cartoons. Oh, I Linda's in the house, May. Hi, Miss Linda. Oh, bless her heart. I know it's so late for her. Um, um, I used to like watching uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost was my favorite cartoon. Tom and Jerry, oh, my God, they were hilarious. Yes. I could put an eight-hour videotape of Tom and Jerry on, and my kid was ecstatic for the rest of the day. <laughs> May Lou said, stop blaming your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to snitch on me. <laughs> How's that feel, May? How's that feel? <laughs> that was a naughty couch. Naughty couch. <laughs> <laughs> that was a secret, Lou. Top secret. Hi, Linda. Hope you have a good weekend, hon. Yes, Miss Linda. Hi, Monique. Welcome to our classes. Hello, Jane. Hello, Miss Jane. Hi, Gloria. Hey, Gloria, you coming down to see me, hon? On the 13th, member, if you're in Texas, come down and see me. I'm doing a demo for Want to Scrap. I wish I was close enough. I sure would. Oh, Everybody. Smurf. Oh, yes, the Smurf. Do you guys ever remember waking up on, I used to wake up on Saturday mornings bright and shine. I didn't want to wake up during the week, but I would wake up Saturday morning and watch the Smurfs. Oh, yes, I would. Yes, yes indeed. Yep. That and He-Man. You guys remember He-Man? I do. I don't <laughs> remember He-Man. Hugs to you, Debbie. And Stretch gonna... Armstrong. Who? Stretch Armstrong. I don't you remember, remember that. One. Toys? I don't remember that one. Yeah, we had that. One too. <laughs> I like Casper too, Diane. 
I like Casper. Casper was my oh Bugs Bunny. Yeah, that was good. Bugs Bunny was good. Yes. And the Flintstones. Yes. The pl oh the Flintstones. You couldn't miss the um. Let me see if I remember the Spanish song because I watched it in Spanish, Puerto Rico. Um. Ah, uh, thank you, hon. It is funny. De deconstructing laces is um. It's therapeutic. I, I, we were talking about that earlier. I think the insurance companies um, needs to start paying us for these laces that we buy because it's helping release the stress. Um, anyway, the Flintstone. Let me think about the song I used to sing, uh, the Flintstones, went in Spanish. Got to remember. Got to remember. Pedro y Pica Piedra. Um, Pedro y Pica Piedra. I can't remember. I can't remember right now. The Flintstones were awesome. And the wow. Jet. Oh, the Jetsons, yes. Who was who was the um oh. Fat Albert. Fat Albert. Yeah, I remember Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yes, I love F Fat Albert. Yes, the Romper Room. Did you guys watch the Romper Room? Yes. <laughs> hey, 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 we're the monkeys. Oh, I oh, love the monkeys. Yeah. I love the monkeys, yes. Uh, I had a crush on Davey. I made my kids sit down and watch the monkeys when it would come on TV land when, they, <laughs> when Nicholas was little. <laughs> He goes around saying, I'm a monkey. I'm going to be a monkey. <laughs> what was that one? Something of the Lost. And it had Land the fame. Of the Lost. Yeah. He just said, Lost. Yes, I used to watch that one too. Right. Yeah. I yeah, like that. That one. That was awesome. Land of the Lost was awesome. Yes, yes. I agree. And there was. You don't make those like uh, they used to. No. I don't show them. I mean, I used to, oh man, <clears throat> I used to watch all those cho shows and I would come home running just to watch those, <clears throat> those shows. And on Saturdays, that was about the only day of the week you would get me to wake up right, right and shine, happy as can be because the Smurf were on. <clears throat> yes, and I liked Flipper too. Flipper, uh-huh. I don't really remember. Was Flipper a cartoon or a movie? It was a show. Like a oh. Planet of the Apes was good. Now that was good back in the day. The one that they've done now, not so much. Right. I had the coloring book and the puzzle. Yeah. They had Bewitch. I used to watch Bewitch too. Yeah. I was too fond of Bewitch. No, yeah. I did. I watched that one. And the Little Rascals. Oh, my God. The Rascals and the Three Stooges. Yes, Buckley. Dukes, Dukes of Hazard played every Friday night. Yes, Monique, you are right. That was like the faithful Friday night show. Yes. It was at Dallas right behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Dukes of Hazard. Daisy Dukes with her Daisy Duke shorts. <laughs> right. Bo Duke Dukes. Mm-hmm. Boss yeah, he was sexy when he'd slide across that car. Mm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Wasn't that Dallas, Tennessee? Wasn't that, a, no, or was it Georgia? It was in uh, Georgia. Georgia, Georgia, yes. Oh, God, they were hot, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Girl, mm, don't even get me started. I had <laughs> collecting bubblegum cards, you know, traders cards or whatever. I had uh, five different sets. It matches mm -hmm. all the puzzles. I sold them all one time at a yard sale for 10 bucks. Yes. Wow, they'll probably be collector's items right now. Right. I didn't know what I had. Hey, they're still hot. Even yes. as old men. Yes, if you've seen John Snyder lately, he plays on uh, Tyler Perry's The Haves or the Have Nots. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh oh, uh oh, girl, he is still sexy to this day. I like the dark headed one. Um, uh, Pat. Yeah, he's a drunk. Yeah. Is he? He sure is. Who is? The Luke. The one that played Luke Duke. Oh, really? Yep. Mork and Mindy was another one. Monique is bringing up all the um, 
think it shows here. And Happy Day, Laverne and Shirley, yeah. Laverne and Shirley was another faithful show I watched. Happy Days. Yes. You yeah. said um, Joni died here late this, this past week? Yes, I watched Happy Days and Joni Aaron. She just died, Joni Aaron. Yeah, that was sad. That was sad. Yes. Sounded like she had some mental issues. Yeah, she and she died in poverty pretty much, I think, from what they were saying. And, and she died in Indiana. Yeah, in a trailer park in Indiana, she had stage four cancer. Yeah, so that's really sad. It's sad, you know, their childhood, their child stars, celebrity stars, and, you know, they grow up and life is not what they were used to in the movies, you know. It's really hard for them. It's yeah. A transition. It's a huge transition for them. Well, I saw a couple of her co-stars from Happy Days saying, you finally found peace and hope you're at peace now. And I thought, wow, she must have been troubled even back then. Yeah. 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 You know, that she died like that and she had all them friends that were so rich and everything. I thought, that's sad. Yeah, that's Joni sad. The Monsters, it was a good, no, no, that was another good show. Yeah, Ooh. that was. That's. I think that's still on in reruns. Is it? I think so. Meaning, uh, yeah, C Captain Kangaroo is an or early morning show I would watch. Yeah, Captain now, that was, I liked that one. Mr. Green Jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I did not I did not like that other fellow, Will You Be My Neighbor? Yeah, oh, Mr. Rogers. Yes, Mr. Rogers, yeah, Will You Be? He was creepy even back then. Yes, he was. Yes. yes. Yes, I did not want to watch him back then. You know, you could almost say her. Perfect. Yeah, Dr. was a good show, too. What was? Mm. Different Strokes. Oh, yeah, yeah. About yeah. Willis. <laughs> I like the one, though. Who was the one, the blonde-headed boy that um had the rich dad? Wait, wait a minute. I had to stop the show. Different strokes. Roof had a crush on Charles Bronson. Yes. The Bee Gees were hot. Now the Bee Gees were hot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that. Um, but Miss Roof, do you guys remember? You don't know who Charles Bronson is. Yeah. Look him up. Look him up. He is not an attractive man. <laughs> Ricky Schroeder. Yeah, that's it, Mary Jo. Yeah, Ricky Schroeder was cute when he was... What was the show, the name of his show? Silver Spoons. That Silver Spoons. I like that show. Hey, he's still he's still a little hottie. Punky Brewsters. You guys watch Punky? I watch Punky Brewsters. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. No. That does, it sounds familiar, but it's not ringing a bell. Oh, I was Patrick. Oh, my awesome. God. Crazy. Facts of Life, I used to watch that. Natalie, what did she say? My daughter is named Natalie. Aww. I watched Facts of Life, too. That was a good show. That was an afternoon and evening uh, show, too, that I would watch faithfully. Right. With Blair, the rich girl. Tootie. Tootie Fruity. <laughs> Tom Selleck, yeah. Tom Selleck, he still got it. And Sam Elliott, mm, yes. Swayze is the man of all. Oh, my dog's dreamy. He's in dog land. Sam Elliott. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sam Elliott. Oh, my goodness. Who's he? I've been on the kitchen table one time. Oh, you don't know who Sam Elliott is? Wait, wait. Right I know what Chips. Do you guys remember Chips? Yes. Oh, my God. With Eric Estrada and, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, too. Silly is. No, I'm sorry. Ch no, Sam Elliott outdoes him. He looked good in Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze. Mm. Oh, so Patrick Swayze is. Uh, no one can ever replace. He's he's my he's he's my boyfriend. He just doesn't know that yet. Right. <laughs> he's been my boyfriend since I was 15. He just didn't know it. Sam That's Elliott. Mm -mm. That voice. That is. I don't know who that one is. Did you never see the mo movie Roadhouse? I do, but I don't know the actor by name. 
Okay, he was he was the gray headed one. He was um Patrick's sidekick in there. The long lanky has the deep He got killed. Chuff voice. Is that the one no, I can't remember? See, I can't I, I, I can't get past Patrick Swayze. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Right. <laughs> this, oh, yes. Chips. Chips. I had a crush on Eric Estrada when I was in fifth grade. Just don't tell him that. <laughs> I had a huge, I had his poster everywhere. I just thought I was going to be Mrs. Estrada someday. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Good night, John Boy. Yeah, I like that show, but John Boy was never hot. Oh my gosh, she said Donna says Eric Estrada is related to her grandson. How? Please do tell because I had a crush on that man when I was in fifth grade. He just he just didn't know he was my boyfriend back then. Even back then, I was shooting for the stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high. I'm high. I was shooting for the stars even back then, <laughs> and I did. Have I did have a crush on Michael Jackson too. I know, I know, I'm weird. Yes, I know. And I Diana, that that huh? Diana got her bead grabber. She got her bead grabber? Yes. Oh, cool. Tammy Clement, it don't matter if you married a single girl, you can still dream. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I Look. can. We go from Sam Elliott, Tom Selleck, then Lassie. <laughs> uh, Eric knows. Eric knows that there's there's Patrick Swayze in my life, and um, and he's 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 there. Somebody's here, guys. Hold on. I'm going to leave my sound on. Yes, just in case. Um, so Eric knows that there's Patrick Swayze is. Um, the, the man in my life before any other man and then there is uh, Mark Anthony you know yes, I gotta have yes. Mark Anthony he's my he's my other boyfriend he just doesn't know it <laughs> un camino dos hombres yes yes ladies Oh, Keanu Reeves is hot. Yeah, he and you know what? That man is very humble. Yes, he is. Very humble. He lives. He he rides on a uh, bus. He does not. You know, he's not like other stars that spent his money. He's all about his family. Very humble. He gives a lot to the community. <laughs> <laughs> Lou said she's been having an affair with Sean Connery for about 40 years, but he just hasn't realized it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki Six, my Motley crew has been my boyfriend since. <laughs> Motley crew. <laughs> she yes. had a boyfriend. He has uh, six cents on a uh, radio station here in Nashville. He is funny. <laughs> he's got some stories to tell. Ah. Uh. I tell you, the, the little boy crushes that we would have. Hmm. I also had a, a crush on um, Kirk Cameron, so he became weird. Right on uh, Growing Pains. Growing Pains, yes. I watched that show. You know, the, the dad. Um, yeah. Alan, Alan Pink. Yeah, he passed away. Yeah. What was it? Karen? Yeah, hon. It's an electric company. Our lights have been blinking, and um, they're trying to figure out where they're blinking from. That we must have a all this rain. I'll guarantee there is a tree laying on the line somewhere. Oh. So he wanted. He was asking me how how long mine have been flickering. Puppy love, yes, puppy love. 
I don't think there has been any girls out there that's never had a crush on a movie star, a singer. I had a crush on Michael Jackson, too. I don't know, back then when he was cute. Right. Before all cosmetic stuff, and he was Billie Jean. Yeah. Billie Jean, not my girl. <laughs> She's 45. I'm 45. <laughs> I remember when his hair caught on fire, too. Yes, I remember that in the Pepsi Cola commercial. Yep. I think Leif Garrett was, um, <gasps> oh, he still is hot. Leif Garrett, I had a crush on that boy before I even knew about crushes. <laughs> yeah. You remember those Teen Beat magazines when they yeah. had the in them? Yes, that boy, he would go on Wonder Woman show. I watched a Wonder Woman, yeah. Um, he would be on there, and him with that curly hair, that thick hair, and his uh, his roller skates. Would be, oh my God! Didn't you just want to run your fingers through that curly hair? And say oh yes, Lord. Jenny, um, do you remember who he dated? The girl he dated. I remember he dated Pam. That was on Dallas. The woman that was old enough to be his mama. No, he dated somebody. She was on um, a real popular show. That had a bunch of siblings, parents yes, and siblings. Yes, yes. Um, uh, what's her Ada's name? She up. came out on a lot. Of, she came in a lot of eighty shows. Eight is enough. Was it eight is enough? I don't know. For the Partridge she, family. She, no, no, it wasn't that. She was a singer too, and she yes. had a brother named Jimmy. Yes. Christy Nichols. Christy yeah. Nichols. Yes. Yeah. Her brother, Jimmy, I used to have a crush on him, too. Him and Leaf Garrett at the same time. Oh, you were cheating on him. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Same on you. Know, cheating on him, see? I, I didn't cheat on him. I was faithful to him until Eric Estrada. Estrada ex, Eric Estrada. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to turn my video camera. Did you hear that, guys? She was faithful until. <laughs> until. 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 <laughs> Until fifth grade, and Chips came along, and Eric Estrada came along to my life, and then he just kind of took over um, with his radiant smile and his tight pants and, you know, that bite. Mm. <laughs> well, I can't blame you. Poor old Leaf, he just started going bald. I know, and he started getting to uh, crazy stuff and drinking and partying and yeah. drugs and all that. And I love bald headed men. I think bald headed is sexy, but he is not pretty. No, he aged. Right, he needs to keep a bandana across his head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He's probably listening to us and saying, Women, y'all wish I had you got you had my money. <laughs> right. Send me your back, baby, but keep that hair over yonder. <laughs> oh Lord. George Michael was cute when he first came out, too. Yes, my best friend thought he was the hottest thing to come along since hot fudge, I'm telling you. <laughs> and Kojak, who loves you, baby? Tell us about us, baby. Oh, Kojak, tell us about us. Hey, hi, Cindy. Tell us about us. He was Puerto Rican. He was gorgeous. <laughs> was he Puerto Rican? Uh -huh. He was New York Rican, yep. Huh. Yes, ma'am. I would have never guessed that. Who loves you, baby? Mm. <laughs> I still catch it every once in a while on some of these shows on cable. Mm -hmm. where they have like the uh, flashbacks of earlier time movies. And when I can catch a Kojak episode, I don't care if it is older than he is, I'm going to sit there and watch it. <laughs> you know, um, uh, the Love Boat. Yeah, yes. Oh, I had to watch The Love Boat all the time, too. The Love Boat. <laughs> Brent Michaels was pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Brent Michaels, he's still cute. Yeah, it was ain't nothing, honey. He still is. Oh, what's no. the one? Didn't Brent Michaels died, didn't he? No. no. Who died no, last he... year? It wasn't him. No, he's still rocking that pretty blonde hair about that down to his shoulders. Yeah, he that and that's a weave. It's a weave, girl. It's a weave. That's okay. I can pretend. <laughs> Keep pretending. <laughs> Paul Walker was. I'm thinking of the wrong guy. Oh yeah, he's pretty. That's okay. He can weave all he wants with those eyes. Yeah. Yes, 
uh, Paul Walker is, um, well, he was cute. He was, he was, he was, he was, I don't know, gone too young. Gone too young. Yeah, I agree. Gone I too young. Yeah. Gotta do some pack work here. He was, mm hmm. But then I like Van Diesel an awful lot. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you like Van, Be Van Diesel? Yes. I love him in the pacifier. It saves the softer side of him. Oh, just anything he's in. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> you see how she's thinking? She's just breathing in deep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Them big old arms, that bald head. Mm -mm. <laughs> they just don't make a whole lot like him. My husband's probably watching it over there. Um, <laughs> watching a show on his phone, and he's thinking, she is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hon, I will. Yes, yes, I will. Um, Christy Love, gotcha. Gotcha. I do hon. not even want to hear Van Diesel likes men. That man has several children and he's been with the same woman for years. Somebody needs to give that story a break. <laughs> hey, I don't know. They might wanna um Flip to that side, you just don't know. <laughs> just don't <I'm> believe not... <laughs> it. Just don't believe look at, it. Look at Rock Hudson. Huh? All the women loved him, and what was he? Yeah, what? Rock Rock Hudson didn't have a bunch of kids running around and living with the same woman. Uh um, I know a lot of I think he did have kids. Didn't he Rock Hudson have kids? No. No. There's been a couple actors and singers that had kids and it was a sacred life back then. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky Martin. Oh my God. You know what? Yes. Scratch. Let's scratch it right there. Flat and ready. Ricky Martin. O N G, gay or not, I don't care. I don't care. Who is he? Go look him up. You saw him in one of the videos, in one of the Spanish videos I put for you. <laughs> one, eight, one, one in La Bamba. La Bamba, no. What is no, it? What was that little guy's name? La Vida Loca. <laughs> Ricky Martin is married to Lucille Ball, wasn't he? <laughs> That was Daisy Arnaz, girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Cuban. Oh my God, he is Puerto Rican, girl. He's Puerto Rican. <laughs> oh Lord, Menudo. Yes, I remember Menudo too. Yes, Menudo. I had, I had, um, I had Menudo um, backpack. I had my oh. uncle. He would go to their uh, concerts, and he would give me their eight tracks after he finished listening to them the eight tracks girl we're talking about the eight tracks <laughs> yes the good old days, good old days. <laughs> yes menudo i had a crush on ray um on ray from the menudos and uh um, yeah he, he he don't look like anything but what he looked like um, yeah no i was like man i have a bad taste in men <laughs> <laughs> he didn't age really pretty. Well, right. he's gay too. Why would you send me a picture of a gay man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because he wasn't always gay. <laughs> well, he has been at least since 2016. <laughs> I, think been, I think he came out of the closet when we were in Puerto Rico in 2010. Yeah, well, he didn't know he was gay then either. <laughs> he needs to take himself back to the closet. <laughs> I mean, is, come on. He is one good looking. He, he is. One is. Oh my God. Put his video and watch him shake it. Watch <laughs> him shake it. <laughs> Go on and watch him ch shake the booty. <laughs> yeah, he could, but he's not. 
No, I like my uh, um. Un I can't even say his name. And oh, there he is, Enrique Inglacius. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That blonde girl just needs to let go of his arm before she gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll punch her right in the throat and take her lollipop and pull her hair. <laughs> yes, Bruce Jenner was a shock, but you know what? There was always that rumor and speculation from back then, back in the eighties. What they did? You can't say Enrique Glacio, say Enrique. Church. In Reek Church? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, scissors. I just burned myself right there, and that hurt. Oh, my finger's kind of swollen right there. Oh, don't do that. Yes, you need to, you need to turn on Enrique and Ricky Martin and watch him. In fact, I think I might do the little video tour and just watch the face so you guys can watch Karen's face as she's watching it. No. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I put a video of Enrique Iglesias? Uh, just to you are making me blush. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis was awesome. I had a crush on Elvis. I had a crush who's on Elvis. Elvis was. Uh, what, what do you mean? Who's Elvis? Yeah, I'm with her. Who's Elvis? Elvis Presley. Oh, him. Are you serious? Elvis El Presley? He never did too much for me. Oh, my God. The real question is, who's Michael Jackson? Who's Michael Jackson? I, girl. I don't like him. Oh. Uh, mm. mm, do you want me to? Uh, mm, yeah. We've heard of the naughty couch. Yes, we're going to put her on the naughty couch. <laughs> I prefer moving around. That's all right. My daughter, when she was little, all she knew about Elvis, she'd tell everybody he died on the toilet. <laughs> I died on the toilet? Elvis Presley. I said, child, you know, he had a lot of more going for him than just that. Well, mama, that's all I remember. <laughs> what, Lord? He died on the toilet. What a, way, what a way to remember him, huh? What if someone died on the toilet when they were in the Titanic? <laughs> Of a way to die, hon. Like their butt froze to the toilet, so they were stuck there and they couldn't have moved. <laughs> like, there are people that think he's alive. Yeah, I, can you imagine that? They're always thinking that man's still alive. He, that man. If I'm 45, that man has to be what? 77. Uh, no, it's got to be like. 67. Yeah, he'd be in his 80s at least, I guess. But I look at it this way. If he was alive, it's obvious he'd had everybody's in his face. He couldn't go to the public with anything. He obviously wanted to be left alone. <laughs> Quit trying to find him. <laughs> oh, you're, you're him for worth. I don't know who that one is. Bruno Mars. He's a little cutie pie. Yeah, he is. <laughs> well, Jenny, yes, he was the king and he did die on his throne. <laughs> yes, that was a good throne to die. He picked the right throne, right? Main question is who's Prince? Prince. Uh, I was never a fan of Prince. I didn't think Prince was all that cute. Um, Bruce. I like the song Purple Rain. Yeah, Bruce Springsteen. I don't was know a who cutie. that is. Oh, yes. Bruce, he, you know, he, he was a cutie. Jesse, girl. Yes, yes. Oh, Jesse. Mm -hmm. Tom Selleck is uh, in. Oh, I think he yeah. is seventy years old. Oh, Tom Selleck and that beard, that that mustache, not beard, that mustache. Oh boy. Oh, I know. You oh. know he does Botox, though. Come on. Oh. And That's do you okay. know, um, what was the other one that had the the, the mustache? Um, God, he was a troublemaker. Uh, mm -hmm. married to Lonnie Anderson. Um. Uh, Burt Reynolds. Reynolds. He was sexy in the day, but you know, he is not like a fine wine. He did not age well. No, I agree. I agree. That that those grapes went really sour, <laughs> bitter. Elvis, <laughs> Elvis would have been um eighty two. He was born January eighth, nineteen thirty five. Yes, okay. A drug overdose. Yep. Nineteen seventy seven he died. They say a heart attack, but 
it's kind of y'all just trying to play it off. He really died of a drug overdose. Yeah. I mean, in his, in his bathroom. Well, that could have, back then, though, you think about it, that could have been insurance purposes. Mm -hmm, yeah, because they didn't want to say that uh, they want to make sure that the insurance paid out. Right. Oh, yeah. Died on the toilet. He died on the toilet. Yeah, he was taking a crapper, mommy. <laughs> right. He died on the toilet, mama. <laughs> <laughs> conversations we have are you guys learning anything here i mean clint eastwood was cute yeah he was cute who's that um, clint eastwood oh, no, made a lot of movies in the 80s and 90s yeah most famous uh what was it do you feel lucky punk <laughs> <laughs> men with me <May>, yeah <laughs> <laughs> You guys feel like you've learned a lot. I think we've taken a um, a tour to memory lane. See, that's what the Victorian fan. It just fanned that memory lane to us. It fanned it. <laughs> yes, brings back them good old day memories. Yes, it was fanning it. Mom, don't worry. You're seven years old. Right. I'm seven. That's right. That's right, Mommy. That means you're older than you me. I know, right? <laughs> I'm a grandmother. <laughs> Your grandmother? You just now realized I said that. <laughs> I'm not even a grandmother. I don't even want to be a grandmother yet. I'm not even planning on that. Well, you know what, mommy? I have three children. One's a fish. One's really big, and another one's really fat. Uh huh. So you're a grandmother. Mom, is Violet Tinker? What, baby? I have no idea. For that weenie. I have no. We're going to do a little bit of a pasting here because I kind of cut that one out wrong. So we got to do a manual detach of the sutering procedure of this here. Uh, uh, he says, May this show is dedicated to hot men, so we need the fan. Yes, yes. This is for the menopause, the premenopause, the mental mean? pause, all that. What's it's all that? for that. It's, that? The, it's the cause. What's that mean? Huh? I'm only 12. I don't know what that means. Yep, it's, you're too young to know it. You'll know it when you reach my age. But what does it mean? Because also, in our class, they were talking about that, and I was confused. They're talking about menopause and premenopause and mental pause in our class? Yes, because this girl. See she, what I mean? The insurance company should be cut paying us for this therapeutic thing, right? The girl was. <laughs> Hot flashes and night sweats. That's all that's good for. <laughs> you guys go to get your craft supplies. You need to take a call up your insurance company and says, hey, can I write this, um, put it on my insurance because it's therapeutic, you know? Yeah. When you go in to get your craft supplies, think about that. Oh, that worked out great. <laughs> Hi, Mary Jo. Night, Miss Mary Jo. Menopause, premenopause. It's just something that when you go through the change of life, it's the circle of life. It's the circle of life. It just means that we become. Um, Does it move us all? Leave us bare and hope. What is it that we become? We become enriched. We become with, that, um, um, Benny. With the wising ability to become more mature. <laughs> Mommy, have you seen Happy Birthday? Uh, feliz cumpleaños. Okay, see this one. There's this video of this girl. She was singing Happy Birthday, but she did a little bit lyrics to it. Like, she was singing, um, Hi, Sherry. Happy birthday. No more babies. Yes, no more babies. I agree. Yeah. I'm a baby. You had me yesterday. Yes, that's what it means, Nani. When you when you go through that menopausal stage, um, means that um, no more babies. Oh. <gasps> it becomes full of rage. Yeah, well, I didn't want to tell her all that, raging hormones and. 
Diane says cranky. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Carla's on it? Night, yeah, yeah. I knew you would say that, Nani. <laughs> cranky Carla. Um, it means you go through night sweats and. So um, Daddy's on it too. <laughs> 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 It's a chemical imbalance. Yes. See, that's why I explained it to her that. Hope your daddy ain't listening. <laughs> she would say that. It's <laughs> <laughs> not my fault. You said over sweating and then cranky. So that's the first thing I thought. <laughs> Both of them mm. are cranky. So your dad has pre menopause when he is home asking them. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Carla if she has pre-menopause right now. I'll be back. <coughs> Carla! <laughs> <laughs> Kids, gosh. <laughs> I have to tell you one time we were sitting and just the things that come out of that child's mouth, it's just yeah. Um, we were at dinner table, and she said to her sister, Carla, are you on your, you know, your monthly? Because um, you sure are cranky today. <laughs> <laughs> what did Carla say? Well, she was mad because she brought it up at the dinner table. She <laughs> had to be about six. Gosh. She's not no. Okay, I'm back with her. She had to be about five or six. I'm back. She's just lippy. She's always been lippy. I'm back. Not lippy, just sassy. I'm back. Okay. So Carla okay, said what happened with that hair? You look like Medusa. <laughs> okay. So Carla said that. So like that's random. And then she could like she made a conversation about my hair and how long how long it was and how she wanted to straighten it. <laughs> well that was random on her part, right? Yeah. See, guys, my daughters are crazy cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I think the only one that's sane is my son. No. <laughs> he watches the anime. Hacho. Okay. So we've learned a lot today. We've learned, um, learned of all the favorite shows. That Carlos Random. And we've learned how to... Um, dissect some pretty laces. Indeed. We learned that May likes to send Karen pictures of gay men. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't send it to you. You look it up. Now, if I wanted to, I could be really mean and put that Ricky Martin video and let and let the whole world see your facial expression when you see him say she re she bangs she moves oh oh she. <laughs> oh god oh god i'm not talking to you <laughs> <laughs> you need that you need to you need to watch him i'm serious watch him i watched him it's 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 very um therapeutic yes very therapeutic <laughs> it'll make you want to she bangs she moves oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to have another cup of coffee after you finish watching him though. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, we walked down memory lane, gained weight, drove over men and crafted. That equals a perfect evening. Yes. Just because the fan was blowing all those memorable moments that we all so loved. With the um, Aquanet hairspray. Oh, yes, the good old days. <laughs> the good what old is Aquanet. Aquanet. She's asking me what is Aquanet. Oh, child. <sighs> she still has Back some. We can aerosol. <laughs> she, 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 she needs. Her mama needs to talk to her. Okay, so then on the other one, we're gonna go here, and just attach it down there. Her mama needs to talk to this child. <laughs> you want to talk to me? Give her some mom. old school schooling. <laughs> have to have some old school schooling. 
Is it about the birds and the bees? I couldn't remember. Uh, you guys, that. you know, have, did you guys ever, did your parents ever get those cabbage patch for you guys? Ew. I remember when people used to stand in the line, line to get the cabbage patches. Yes. And my mama made me one. Oh, she made you one. She couldn't go out and buy you one. <laughs> no, she wasn't going to stand in that line and fight with them rude people to get one. She said, you can deal with the one I make. <laughs> Was it pretty? Because the made ones were not very pretty. <laughs> well, it was until you looked at its hair. And then it was that fur kind, you know, like the, the flat fur uh -huh. in Michael's. Stowed on a doll's head. I'm like, seriously, mama, that kind of rogue. <laughs> <Poor little thing. laughs> the thing is, though, I bet there was a lot of upset people over them things. Before, because before you could stand in line and buy them, the only way to buy them was to adopt them. And people paid big money. Yeah. My that. money they had sense. My mom, yes, they were they were originally like thirty dollars, and people would stand. I remember they would stand in line when as soon as they knew they were going to be in, and they would sell out, and people were running. Yep. They people would sell were out. Out. those things. Mm -hmm. Oh, how cute! I did myself. I can do a cute. Um, they would stand in the line to get those things, and 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 then they would get to there and. Only to find out there was only like maybe 10 or 15 of them. They were hot sellers. And then the people that would buy them would buy them for like 30 bucks and then resell them for like 80, 100 bucks. Right, little gougers. And um, I got my first one when I was in seventh grade. And uh, my mom's friend gave it to me for Christmas. And then my mom and her went somewhere and someone sold her one for like, I think it was like $80. And I was like, the whole phase of the Cabbage Patch was all gone. It's like, really, now you're giving me this? I was more along the line of the garbage pail kids. I like those too. I, they were the trading packs. They were fun. <laughs> Now, I didn't like any scary movies like um, Friday 13 or any of that stuff. Jason, oh, God, I could not drive down a wooded area with my family. I would scare, I was scared that Freddie might come out or Jason. Jason, man, yeah, I like that. Mm -mm, I did not watch those movies. No. Still not today. I will not watch them. No. Uh, I do ha-ha, not rah-rah. Mm -mm. No. Oh, I, I want... One of my first dates ever was to go see Carrie. Oh God, no! Oh God, no! That oh that that movie was oh freaky. Yeah. Um, she still has her handmade cabbage patch that she made for her mom. No. Yes. And Carrie, I'm not, I don't remember a Miss Beasley. I don't either. Mrs. Beasley's. Oh yes, I had one of those. It was on the show Buffy and Jody. What is that? I never heard that one. Yeah. I watched it on Nick at Night. I'm not old enough to remember the originals. You're not no. old enough. Listen to her. No, I'm serious. I don't remember the originals. But they I didn't have Nick at Night when I was growing up. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have cable back then either. No, <laughs> No, they did not. You had three channels plus US, U, UF, UK. Yeah. Yeah, you, you had the little rabbit ears. You had the rabbit ears and the black and white TV. Uh, and aluminum no, foil wrapped no. around the rabbit ears. No, we were better off than most people. Now, we did have a color TV. You did? Oh, see, we had a yeah. black and white TV until we were moving on up. We were moving on up when I was in middle school. And um, I think I was about seventh grade, and we got a uh, color TV. Oh, girl, that was like a whole new world. Yeah. Yeah, Family Affair. That was the name we had Buffy and Jody on it from Mrs. Beasley. I don't that. No, that, that don't really little doll. I don't remember that one. Yeah, if you didn't, if you, you know, if you didn't have to change the channel, we didn't have it. <laughs> and we didn't have no remote neither. It was called up. Uh, myself had to get up and go change the channel and stand yeah, to the and if you want the signal to come in. And that's why you were a lot thinner back then. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Right. Shimmy up on the house and change the antenna around a little bit. Mm -hmm. There was no VCR. No. no, remember when the VCRs came? Oh my God, that was like the biggest thing ever. 
<laughs> it was the biggest thing ever. Okay, so we got, we did five. Got five of them done. Are we moving right along? <laughs> yeah. Nighty was talking about something called Dawn Dolls. I don't know that one. I don't either. I don't either. I had a Betsy Wetsy. Yep, I had one of them too. I didn't have dolls growing up much. Um, I got a Barbie when I was in fifth grade. My mom's neighbor gave it to me for babysitting. Carol cool. Church says she has her Barbie doll from 1960. Really? Yeah. Mine lasted through my childhood. I gave them to Brittany and they didn't last two days. <laughs> I swear. What'd you do? She tore them up. Broke their legs off, pulled their hair off, cut some of them's hair. I'm like, I took care of my babies, and then I have them for my little girl when you when you get here, and then look what you did. <laughs> I didn't and have any. I had to give my kids doll, a bionic woman doll. Oh God, girl! I didn't have any of that stuff. All right, I'm thinking about going around the edges. Oh, um, crazy. I could sandwich it. That's why I always leave the ends so that you can sandwich it like that with a little bit of glue. But mm -hmm. I'm thinking of doing um, a little bit of going around like that. I think that would be cuter. And I'm going to go with it, ladies. There you go. Row with it, girl. Is that gonna, gonna is that going to work with all them put together? Oh, it should. We'll make it work. Okay. I want to see. I'm, gonna, I'm the crafting engineer, and this moment I will be the surgical surgeon that will put it together. That sounds exciting. Yes, it does. Ooh, ooh, don't what? <laughs> be right back. <laughs> I had my dolls, when I had my Cabbage Patch Kids, um, my mom got me one when I was, um, I don't know, God, see, Teresa got me the one when I was in seventh, and then my mom got me one when I think I was maybe about eighth grade, the one she paid like 80 bucks for, and then she got me the one with the corn silk hair, Right. I was in high school, and then um, by then, you know, we were moving on up. Um, and then when my niece was born, I gave, I didn't give, but I guess I can't say I gave, but I went to Puerto Rico and I had was going to school, and I gave my brother my stuff to hold for that when I can come back from the semester and I just decided not to go back. I'm right. um, just there. And my niece, my my brother gave the dolls to my niece and they I don't know what they did. Never found my stuff again. I was really yeah. upset. I was really upset about that. The only dolls I had and they they took them. Right. I had a baby rattle. My mom gave me a teddy bear in third grade. It, it, it was a baby rattle. And I, I told her, um, I didn't tell her then. I was, I told her, it was not um, second grade, it was second grade. I told her, I said, Mom, thank you for the teddy bear. And then years later, I told her, Mom, do you realize that you gave me a baby rattle? <laughs> <laughs> It was the thought. <laughs> she said that was all she could afford, so that was what I got. It was a little teddy bear like that, and his little he was curved in, curled in, and had little rattles in his paws. Oh. I had that, and my little dolls, and my niece. I don't know what my brother did. I don't know what they did with those things. Yeah, I had the. Charlie's Angels dolls too. I had I had those dolls on my bed for the longest time with my little bear, my little rattle. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so it looks better with the little clean edged around it. That does look really good. Looks a lot more cleaner. Tilda dolls. You know, I haven't I, I haven't tried making Tilda dolls. I bought the stuff to make the Tilda dolls, and I I made one. I'll take it back. We made one, right, Nani? And um, I didn't make the little skinny ones. We made the one with the big head. Right. Yes, yeah, so I like it like that better with the clean edge around it. It looks more professional to me. I don't know. So no pancakes tonight. <laughs> no, no, my mommy made me pancakes. Please, please. Yeah, there she is. She's the <laughs> she's the famous one for those words. My mommy made me pancakes. Please. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I remember the paper dolls. You guys remember the paper dolls? Yes. I remember making paper dolls and the little clothes to go with them. I loved it so much, I still do it. Yep. Uh, yeah, you do. You love paper dolls. I do, I do. I don't really remember having paper dolls, but then regular baby dolls couldn't survive me either. Right. <laughs> You don't know, my mom seemed to get upset when I would rip their heads off and cut their hair. Oh, my God. Did you ever take their heads off and put them on different bodies? No, I never did that. I would take them outside and play with them in the mud puddle. Mm. You could you could fill their heads up with muddy water and then sling it at your brothers. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, my God. No wonder, <laughs> no wonder my daughter may slime. She wants you guys to see her slime pile. Oh, cool. She's a little, um, quite the, she experiments with this stuff. Oh, that's okay. That's what you were telling us about. Yes, yes. I cut out. I, I would. Here, Nani. Yeah, she's always. All my dish soap, um, lotions. Um, Oh, Ruth's mom's uh, house was stuck, struck with lightning, and she had Alzheimer, and it was a disaster. Oh, well, yes. Jody says she found paper dolls at um, World Market a month ago. Really? Oh, I would love that. Is it World Market like one of those really nice places that um, has a little bit of like furniture from all over the world, isn't it? Or different styles of furniture and stuff, classic, classic stuff. I think they had one in, I think we've been there, right, Rihanna, in, in um, Utah? I don't know. I'm having a May, Patricia Korn wants me to let you know that um, she's here reading texts and watching you work. But for some reason, it won't allow her to post. Oh, hi, Miss Patricia. Everyone say hi to Miss Patricia. Hi, Miss Patricia. Hello, Patricia. Oh, her mom passed two years later after that lightning. No. They have yeah, they have food from I think I've, I think we've gone down there. Um, I think so. Park City. Park City, Utah had one. Oh my god. Patricia said she's or Patricia, um Susan's Susan, wow. <laughs> Diane <laughs> said she used to cut out um dresses from the magazines for her paper dolls. Yeah. Yes, and glue them on or tape them on. Tape them on, yeah. Yes, yeah, I, I, oh, oh, 
before, the way they used to do it, because you didn't have glue, like we didn't have glue. The way we did it is, see, there was a coupon that I didn't use. Let me make double check. Oh, no, we can't use that one. Hold on, girls. <laughs> you don't lose that coupon. <laughs> that must have been a good one. <laughs> can't, walk, can't use that one either. Hold on. We got to get a piece of paper. Give me a piece of paper, Nani. The way you did it also, I want to show you how I did it um, back then. Um, because, you know, you didn't have, even if you didn't have a stapler in school and you had to staple something together and, you know, you didn't have. Brianna, I need a piece of, dress, bring me a piece of paper, Mommy. Um, you, um, Brianna, Mommy, I need a paper. <laughs> Crystal Vix will be going live tomorrow night, hon. Yes, tomorrow night's mixed media night, not shabby chic night. Okay, I drew a Gucci dress. My daughter drew a Gucci dress. That's Gucci. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So back then, you cut out your little dolls, right, or your papers. And if you didn't have a stapler, because you know you couldn't afford a stapler back then, or you didn't have, or you didn't have glue, um, you do some little notches like that. Go back to elementary school. Went down. Using your fabric scissors? No, I'm using Tim Holtz. Oh, okay. As you can see, I'm not perfectly. Oh, yeah, you're putting like the little flaps on them where you can fold yeah, them over. Little flaps so you can put it over the doll clothes. And change them over and over again. Yep. Change them all over again. Um, I did that with my papers in school too. I would put a little flap um, over because you know you didn't have a stapler or, or a clip or anything like that. Huh. So you put the flap over the doll, the doll, and then just kind of flap it over. Yep, I remember doing that. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> Karen. Are you trying to say that you're younger than we are? I know you are not going there, girl. No, I'm thinking I'm more of a tomboy than you all are. Yeah. You were too busy doing what I was also doing, climbing on the roof, climbing on trees, making mud yep. pie, making salad out of the grass. <laughs> right. No. And then green onions, the wild onions that grow, yeah. they were the best. That was your seasonings. Yes. Yeah. Up and down the sidewalks. All right. My dad gave us one time, man, I, bet, I guess I was about nine, maybe 10. I'm not sure. Gave us a bunch of wood, though, from the old house that um, he had grown up in. It had been in our family. Um, he had tore it down, built my grandma a brand new house. Um. He gave us that wood to build um, a tree house for the neighborhood kids in our neighborhood. Uh huh. And it was going in our friend's yard because they had the tree that you could make a good, decent tree house in. So we worked on that. We worked on that. Man, we worked on that for a couple of weeks, you know, a little bit at night. You know, you know how kids are. And then after it got built, oh, they decided no girls allowed. I remember, I remember us doing forts. And yeah. My pull that stunt no girls allowed and of course I was the only girl I would get so mad I would tear that I, I would watch for them to turn their back and I'll start tearing yeah, tear it down. Oh, uh, that sent me home crying hmm. I can't remember I remember them throwing something at me to keep me from climbing up the tree that sent me home crying my dad looked at me and he said what's the matter and I remember having the biggest fit in the middle of that living room stomp my feet they won't even let me in my own tree house. <laughs> my dad's like, what? I said, they won't let me in. And he said, you go back. I said, no, they threw stuff. And my dad could see, or my mom spotted. I can't remember what they threw, but it started raising a lump on my um, cheekbone. Uh -huh. they, whatever it was. When my mom brought attention to that, my I can remember my dad go and get it in his hammer. And I know if he had a saw or what he went up there and he climbed up that tree house he kicked all the boys out and my dad started dismantling that tree house 
And then the dad come out and said, what are you doing? He said, this is my wood. My daughter helped build this. And if my daughter's not allowed in this tree house, we are taking the tree house home. Yes. <laughs> Martina said good night. She's going to bed. I think Luisa is going to bed too. Good night, Miss Luisa. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Good night. Yeah, I, I think kids of this generation, they really don't know. They're all on these video games and all in their, you know, electronics. They don't go outside and kick the ball, you know. Um, or have imagination. Yeah, have imagination. Mm -hmm. you didn't have, if you didn't have toys, man, you play with whatever you had. You go outside and you made salad out of that grass. Right. <laughs> You know, back then it was legal for your parents to lock you out of the house. <laughs> it was. Oh, I got locked out of many a times for running in and out. It was that or a switch on your behind. Yeah. My grandmother, when we when I would go to my grandmother's um, over the summer, um, it was a treat to go to her house because I get to play outside. From the time I got up, she would open up the door and say, okay, because my grandma was a little stingy on food, um, which was okay. And she would say, okay, get up in the morning, go outside and play. And I would play until I couldn't play anymore. And it'd be like 10, 11 o'clock at night, and I'm still outside playing. All right. Yep. So she was ready to go to bed. And when she was ready to go to bed, and she, was, she was always an early bird and a night owl. Um, we would go in. Because she would sell food and people would come at random hours of the night. So she had to make sure she was available for the mor morning crew, the night crew, and whoever needed food. Damn, I have more. Is she still alive? My grandmother? Mm -hmm. No. My mom's alive? Gosh, no. She's alive in heaven. What's a polywog? I don't know. A polywog? Yeah, I'm trying to remember that too. I remember that. Diane says, how about polywogs? Love those on the nose. What is that? I don't know. I don't know, but it must be alive because Crystal says she still likes to catch them. Oh, lightning lightning bugs! I like catching lightning lightning bugs. Oh yeah, put their butt along their arms and faces so we can glow in the dark. I remember um, being a kid and making a taking an old jar and putting poking some holes through with a, a nail, going outside and catching the lightning bugs. Yeah, putting grass in the bottom of it so they'd live. Yeah, we went walking the other day and. Um, we saw some lightning bugs. I was so excited. I haven't seen lightning bugs in years. It's amazing when you don't go outside, you don't see them, but they're out there. I have them here in my yard, but I don't live in town. I don't have street lights and everything. I well, like them. It reminds you of your childhood. Mm -hmm. That was normal. Normal means that you can go out, out to the stores and you didn't have a phone. You didn't have anybody calling you or texting you to, hey, you know, you just yeah. live a normal life. Polywogs are tadpoles. Oh, no. I don't no. know that. Yeah, we just call them tadpoles. Yeah, I call them tadpoles, too. Yeah. No, them. Diane says, no, they are leaves from trees. Leaves from trees? And yes, June bugs on a string. Those was fun too. Oh, Crystal Tisher, uh, Tisher likes to. She liked to collect the lightning bugs and smash them on her face. I guess she wanted to get that um, iridescent. Oh. Um, what do you call that? Because you know they they glow in the dark. Yeah. She wanted to glow oh. in the dark. I never tried that. No, I don't think I ever will either. Honeysuckles, I would have those in the summer. It was nice to get go up to a little honeysuckle tree and pull out some of those and suck out some of the honey. Oh, I love honeysuckle. Oh, my goodness, yes. Highly allergic. I have to burn it every year. Really? Yep. 
Wow. Mm. That was fun. That was those are good old summer times. That was what summer was all about. You didn't have to go to um, an amusement park. You had the amusement park right there in your backyard. Exactly. Yeah, I agree with that, May. I agree with that. You had the adventure right there in your backyard. Carol said she made slime with her grandson a couple of years ago. Oh, it's big now. You go to Walmart, they sell you the big old gallon of um, glue. Um, Elmer's glue, they sell you everything you need to make slime, slime and uh, yes, and the kitchen right now in my house, I have to watch my dish detergent and my um, laundry detergent too, has been <laughs> of slime. Hello, so Lavita. Hello, Miss Lavita. Oh, Miss Lavita, I haven't seen you in our classes for a while. How are you, hon? Lovely chatting with you too, Tubby. It's nice, Tubby. All right. Almost done. We're going to get this one wrapped up and then we're going to add them, string them together, and then we're going to finish it off with a pretty flower. And the tassel, because you know we love tassels. We like tassels. Yes. Indeed. So then we'll regroup probably on Monday. I have the um, project rubber for the rubber buggy. And I will try to come in probably Tuesday, Tuesday night, and do a uh, water scrap stick pen, or not stick pen, Victorian, it might, it might be a stick pen book or a uh, Victorian person. I'm not, I haven't decided, it might be a stick pen book. Oh, that's my favorite. I wanna, I wanna vote for the stick pen book, please. I'd like to learn something. Oh, you're saying you haven't learned anything yet? <laughs> you have catch up. I oh, heard it. Heard it live. Hi, Miss Tommy. <laughs> Paranoid much? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to let you guys know, um, you guys asked me today about the beautiful mesh trim, the ruffled mesh trim that I use, um, that I use for the dress today, this one, it is available at Wanda Scrap, she just loaded it up, um, she's got it in ivory and she's got it in white. So she just let me know she made a new category for um, for the laces to make it easier for you guys. And she's going to be adding more laces um, when she gets home Monday. So that's um, news, news for want to scrap. For those of you guys, I know this one's really hard to get, um, but she got it and it's going to be in a store. So check it out, ladies. Woohoo! We like new inventory. Yeah. Let me let me send her a quick little message, ladies. Hold on. Let's send Michelle a quick message. She's in Orlando. And there's the link to what May is working on now, the Victorian fans. And somebody's saying bye. Are you leaving, Diane? Diane says, thank you, May. It is beautiful. 
Is she going? I don't know if she's going or not. Yes, yeah, she is. She said yes. Good night, hon. I hope you have a good weekend. Sorry, hubby called me. I had to mute myself. Who does he think he is calling when May's live? All right. I, <laughs> I thought you had that man train, Jenny. You got train that man. I know. He says, I was making sure you got home. I said, I sent a text. Didn't you get it? <laughs> He's like, well, no. <laughs> so it's probably right. after his face or I sent it to the wrong person. <laughs> Train that man, girl. Train him because um, he can't interrupt you when you're crafting. Right. Because I get my crafty on and my Martha Stewart going on. Let's get your Martha Stewart on. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Can you buy some stock? Uh, as long as I don't have a daughter, we're probably okay. As long as you don't go to jail, right? Right. Uh, I don't want to rock the orange jumpsuit. No. I, wa I want to rock where her house is, her beautiful house. Right. All right. All right, talking to Michelle real quick. She did load that up and made a separate category. Let me check it. I'm here at the web. Uh, let's refresh. Lace, lace, lace. Yes, she's got a new category for laces, and she actually added this. So she's gonna move all the laces right now. If you go into Want to Scrap, and you click on Embellishments, and you scroll down, you're gonna see Ribbon and Trim. All the ribbon and laces are in that category, but she just made a separate little category, and it's laces, and she just added. To it, okay. Cool. Good night, Susan. Good night, Miss Susan. All right, we're done here. Okay. So now we're going to add these babies up. We're going to make this baby pretty, and I'm going to use some twine because twine is a lot. Thicker, and I can run it through a lot easier. This is the part I want to see. I'm just going to tie it, hon. Huh? Oh, okay. It's not going to be really. I don't think I poked a hole on this one, did I? My stuff. I don't know where my tweezers went, but if I had my tweezers, I would be tweezing that baby right through. Tweezers needs to go in, or maybe a big old needle. Hello, Michelle. Michelle's in the house, May. Hi, Michelle. Poor Michelle. We got her working over there selling at the prop. <laughs> She was at Every, a shop, ladies. There's the two inch mesh that is new. There's the link. I'm sorry, May. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. No, I interrupted you. I can't get that in. You got to punch a bigger hole? No, I just got to get. Yes. If I, could find my, if I could find where my tweezers are, I could pull it through. But I think I got it. There we go. There we go. So we're just going to tie them all together. And then we're going to um, secure them in place. with um, we will secure them in place with 
a little bit of glue to hold them in place so they're not wobbly. Right, Michelle Parrish says, um, Orlando Crafters Rock, they love us and May Larson Designs. Aww. Good. Good, good. Orlando, I know they were, um, these ladies were funny. I was, we're in a group for the Orlando Expo, the Scrapbook Expo. And those mm -hmm. are hilarious. My, my God, for days they were like planning on how much they were going to be spending at the Scrapbook Expo. I, I was just, they were pulling out, sending pictures of how they had their money ready, their credit cards ready. <laughs> <laughs> at the expo, it was like, oh my god, these ladies really mean serious business. Don't mess with a crafter. Well, That's right. With a That's a, right. A crafter with a a crafter with a uh, credit card. Um. They on a mission. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey, everybody wants a May Larson design. Cannot blame them. Aww. All right, look at that. Miss hmm. Flip Flop says Melanie, Melanie Lane did a live stream walking around the expo today and she was looking for Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> She was looking for Michelle. She was looking for Michelle on that lady's live stream video. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I know, um, who was it? Uh, Nancy Thomas was saying, I'm going to go to Michigan. Are you going to be in Michigan? Hey. Yeah, she's talking to Michelle right now. Who? Nancy. Oh, is she? Yeah. yeah she, are you coming to Michigan? I'm like, no. Yeah. Michigan's like um, May 10th or something like that. Well, she's talking about hoping to meet her in November in Michigan. Oh, in November. Uh, no, I'm missing something. Michelle Parrish, I'm hoping to meet you in NOVI, Michigan next weekend. Okay. okay. I was about to say, Michigan's like one of the biggest, from what Michelle was telling me, it's like one of the biggest events. If you mention Want to Scrap and May Larson Designs, you get a free prize there. You do? Who said? Michelle Parrish just posted it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, she did. Hang on. Girl, I'm on it tonight. Oh, wait, a wait a minute. I got an angry hubby. I uh, got an angry well, hubby. I've your video twice this evening. Two times this evening. First one with Crafters Anonymous. The problem with Crafters Anonymous is you want to hold it at Hobby Lobby break room. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Eric. Hi. Uh, and the second thing is I popped in during the menopause. <laughs> the craft channel. Hey, who said that we were appropriate? <laughs> Eric, all I've got to say is May started it. <laughs> Bus, dump, bump, and rolled over right there. <laughs> Anything you guys want me to say to him? <laughs> now is the right time to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies are saying. Um, hi, Eric. Michelle's laughing. Night, Angel. Okay, like Night Angel says, gotta love them, May. <laughs> okay. For shame. <laughs> For shame. For shame. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought, I thought he was at judo practice. How does he know what we were talking about? <laughs> I don't know. You see, he was spying on me. He was talking. Okay, I'm going to put a big wad of hot glue in the bottom portion where that is. And I'm going to carefully align that just like that. Like fan it out. Okay. okay. All 
And line it how you want it. Oh, okay. This is the part that you got to get this one here first, and then you can carefully glue down this one, these down, one on the other. Mm hmm. Get the tedious part over with first. <laughs> we're going to, yeah, we're going to do this here first because it's a big wad, and then I'm going to tie it really good to secure that. This part here is not really going to be noticed too much because we're going to put a big, nice flower there um, to make it pretty. Okay. And I'm going to tie it really tight. Okay. So then I'm going to turn it. And I'm just going to carefully put maybe a wide of glue, not too much, like around there. I'm doing it on the edge just a bit on the edge, the lippy edge of the fan, you know what I mean like right on the lip edge May Michelle says drop jaw dropping gorgeous. Aw. I think Michelle thinks all my projects are like that though. Well, they are. Right. Yeah. So that is the back. I don't know why I see myself short here. Hold on. That's the back. That's beautiful, May. And then we're gonna put a wanna scrap pearl on here in the center there okay and then we're going to we find out which flower we want do we want to go big and bold or white and shabby I think big and bold right I like the darker color. The darker? Yes, because it gives it a little pop. Yep. Yeah. What's the video say? They're saying, wow, lovely, yep, stunning, drop dead gorgeous. Gloria says, bought, bought my fan pieces two orders ago. Now to put it together. Thanks for the gorgeous inspiration. You're very, very welcome. And thank you for buying the, the, the pattern um, and supporting Wanna Scrap and just being an awesome customer for Wanna Scrap. I really appreciate you guys doing that. Darker flower. Okay. Lighter flower. Can we see the lighter flower? Yes, absolutely. There's the lighter flower. Oops. There's the lighter. And then here's the darker. I think the darker looks kind of prettier. Mm -hmm. The um it the the lighter color one, it just sort of gets lost to me. Aw, Miss um, Miss Ruth says I've been talking to you, but I you didn't answer, and I was afraid I missed saying goodbye to you. I'm sorry, Miss Ruth, I didn't see. And I'm sorry, I was afraid I was watching um her put the fan together. My chair, yeah, my chair is my my chair is horrible, ladies. Horrible. Okay, here's my little stash of. Um, vintage laces. We popped out the vintage laces, so we're going to go with that. We're going to go with some of this. This one's not vintage, though. 
Don't forget, Deco Fun Bow Maker is available for sale at the Wanna Scrap store. Um, so, and I haven't, go ahead. If you haven't purchased it, it is awesome, 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 awesome. And I don't know which pearls she's going to be using. So, here's a link that is to, I'm assuming, all the pearls at Wanna Scrap because I just put pearls in the um, search section. It will probably be the flat back white pearls. Flat back white pearls. Oh, I like that one. We're going to use this one. You guys know I like my bows to be really wild and crazy. And here is the Deco Fun bow maker on um, Wanna Scrap. We got to put some paper on that box and pretty it up, May. <laughs> <laughs> that is one thing I don't like doing. I don't like sitting there and... Um, Decorating these things. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go get our Deco Fun Bow Maker. Make a tassel. Let's make a tassel. We're going to cut this one up into several little pieces because it's too wide. something else look at that it was a hem to something <laughs> wasn't even a ribbon but we're making a ribbon it was a hem for something oh roberta says simply stunning with your beautiful touch may oh thank you hon thank you thank you and kateri is calling it a heirloom piece I've got to get one of them. You got to get one of these. These are awesome. I got to get one of those. I like it better than pulling out the little pegs. To be honest, I know you like your pegs. <laughs> yeah, but that one actually does look easier to do. It is. It's super easy. It's very easy. Um. Gary wants to know where you got your scissors at, May. Which scissors, hon? My long pink ones that are from the Singer, the Singer ones. You can go to Hobby Lobby, use your 40% coupon, or Joann's when they have the 50% coupon, but they're Singer's. Let's do this crochet one. Our ladies, I love you guys. Don't really need to watch me to do this, but it just gives it a finishing touch to this. In case anybody new here, here is Wanna Scrap's Facebook group. Mm -hmm. Please feel free. We'll let you in. Oops, dropping everything. Somebody want to come over here and clean this mess after this class. You're welcome to come. I'll give you my address. Okay, bye. I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> This is seam binding. I just took some random pieces of laces 
And now this is seam binding that has been distressed and coffee dyed. It was originally white. Um, and that just gives it a more delicate, fine look. May, Michelle says, I have to get to sleep, girls, up early in the morning for day two of convention, then pack up. May, the Victorian fan is gorgeous, all in caps. Thank you, everyone that is helping May on the panel. Thanks. Yes, thank you, the ladies that are here. And then we're just going to take another piece of that lacy that I cut up, and we're going to use that for the center tie-up. <coughs> Excuse me. That up. Made a crazy little bow. You can leave it just like that, or Crazy bow, right? Right, love that. And then we're gonna put that right here, and this bow is probably gonna be tucked. Katiri says, I have a silver pair of sing Singer scissors. Is it worth to get them sharpened? Katiri, I'm gonna answer that because I worked in sewing factories for years. If they had a good blade to begin with, if they had a good edge to them to start with, I say yes. If they're the, if they're the ones that I'm thinking of where they're heavy duty, they got a little heft to them, I would find somebody that is very, very good at sharpening them and take them. Yeah, yeah. If they're the cheap kind now, then you can just replace, no. it's probably cheaper to replace it with another, you know, another pair of, these were like, Sixteen ninety nine, and you use your um, 40 50 percent coupon I would I would suggest keep an eye on your um, like see sometimes when you go to Joann's um, in the back of your receipt you get um you get these little printouts it's 50 percent off one item until May 24th um, so you can use that and get this a little bit cheaper that's what I would strongly suggest that is my Victorian fan. That is gorgeous. Oh, May. Yes. That is beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. And then I'm going to use a little flat back beads for back here. And then that will be it, ladies. That is the end of the tutorial. Monique says beautiful. Autumn says gorgeous. Nancy says so beautiful. Karen Thompson says that is gorgeous, my friend. Michelle says absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Um, oh, wow. That's so gorgeous. Very elegant. Beautiful. Yeah, I can't say that word, so I'm glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, right about out there, girl. Only <laughs> scrap flat back beads, and we're just gonna put it, pop it right there in the center. Look at all about the details, ladies. Penny wants to know, May, do you ever surprise yourself? Sometimes I have, actually. Um, I made an angel once, and that angel, I think, was the, the one that has surprised me about my abilities to craft. I, I look back, and I admire my little angel a lot. Okay, so there we go, ladies. That is the finishing touch of and see with this little piece here it almost looks like um this looks like it's the fans uh divided yeah. so very easy to make um, as you can see um you can use this right now mother's right around the corner it's next weekend um you know 
stock up on it if you are making things to resell. Um, perfect, easy. It is really easy. Once you have it all done, it, it's easy. We did this in what, two hours and 41 minutes, but we were chatting and I paused a lot. So you can whip these out really, really fast. Um, it makes a wonderful gift. Or if you want to resell them, there you go. Okay? Beautiful. And on the um, last one, you know what I suggest? Just use it for something else, decorate something. You can, um, I don't know, you know, put a little picture of a little girl there or something and have it as a little wall hanging or something like that. That's what I always suggest for the sixth one. But I think five is perfectly, I mean, you could do six and you would have it like that. That's perfect. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, ladies, that is it for tonight. Do not forget that tomorrow night Vic is on for Mixed Media Night. Um, I will be back uh, to create another beautiful Mother's Day inspirational project for you guys on Tuesday. Um, and we'll be back on Tuesday here on this channel. We'll do it during the day because I think it's kind of easier during the day. So we'll figure out when Karen is available to do this during the day. Um, thank you, Monique. Thank you, Deanna, Katiri, um, to all you lovely ladies. Gloria. I think, you know what? Uh, Hancock Fabrics went out of business over here. They were going out of business throughout all the U.S. Yeah, they filed bankruptcy or something, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah. My mama was sad wearing a quilter uh -huh. at the same token. She got some darn good deals. <laughs> I went, but I didn't see any deals there. They still had, they priced up their stuff really high. So it was no deal for me. Wait for it. They'll come down a lot as time draws closer to oh, the end of it. Here it's, it's been, it's already closed. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's completely closed. Sorry, ladies. My chair is very squeaky. So I apologize for that. Well, thank you so much, Yvonne. Good night, Lynn, Carolyn, Michelle. Thanks Good night, ladies. For joining us. Good night, everyone. Appreciate it. So we will see you guys on the next video. Um, so join us. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Stop.